I used to stay away from talking about depression, but I've done so now around the world on an issue that's only recently moved up the global agenda, an issue that touches all of us in the wealthiest and poorest homes around the world, an issue that costs the world a trillion dollars each year, an issue that plunges the most vulnerable among us into more isolation and sometimes suicide. I'm talking about mental health. The scope of the challenge is truly huge. One in four people is impacted by a mental health disorder. And in China, with urbanization, migration, and rapid social change, that number is spiking to new levels. Yet in China, there are fewer than two psychiatrists for every 100,000 people. And it's not just a question of services. China has a real challenge on its hands to humanize complex conditions from dementia to depression, from schizophrenia to bipolar disorders. Even if someone knows they need help, they still need to make the decision to access support and treatment. And that's not always easy when the shame created by stigma pushes people into even stronger silence. But some of the solutions may be closer to home than you think. Adam Chen is the co-author of a new study by the University of Georgia. He says playing Mahjong, a game that uses 144 tiles with symbols and characters on them, is a way of bringing people together and staving off loneliness. You interact in groups of four, you need to think strategically, and you often take turns hosting these games in different homes. It shows that while some innovations are technology-based, others are simple and borrowed from our culture. But the problem in China is magnified by the rapid urbanization in recent years and the unraveling of traditional social and family structures. Today, most Chinese live in the cities as able-bodied people go off to find work, leaving behind their relatives who need to negotiate a new life with less frequent family ties. And no matter where you live, city or countryside, there is growing competition, slowing economic growth, and generally more pressures to negotiate. I would love to see the recent interest in mental health snowball into a permanent positive movement. Today, we live not only with work and life pressures, but also conflict, forced migration, natural disaster, and widening economic and social inequality. You see, it's not just about Chinese or non-Chinese, it's about all of us. And it's not only about health, it's about unlocking the promise and potential of every human being, whoever we are. Continued prosperity and progress will rely on well-being, so governments need to invest much more. Plus, we all need to examine how we as individuals and as communities can be part of the solution by confronting stigma and speaking out. I am James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.